Not a place I have to hide in. Life's not worth a damn till you can say I am what I am. I think, I think the, the, the international solidarity that Michael talked about is so important because this struggle is an international struggle. The same fight that we're having here in Ireland is the same the thing that they're struggling for in the North. It's the same thing they're struggling for in Scotland, in the UK, in America, and all across the world. We're all part of the same fight for trans rights. Yeah. Our next speaker is going to be Claire Mullally, and Claire is an LGBT trade unionist. I am a trade unionist and an LGBT activist. I bring a message of solidarity from the TUC in the UK. The TUC represents 5.5 million workers from 48 unions, and it sends its support today and solidarity to Dublin Trans Pride. So thank you. As trade unionists, we fight against discrimination. <laughs> Sorry, it's a huge thing. <laughs> That's okay. As trade unionists, we fight against discrimination and prejudice at work and campaign for dignity and respect for trans workers worldwide. A senior trade unionist was asked at 19 years old, have you thought about joining a trade union? She wasn't sure what that meant. Then she was asked, do you want to learn how to be a campaigner? She said, yes, I do. We are trade unionists because we want change. And as a collective, we can achieve change. Whether you're a 16-year-old working in a cafe or a 60-year-old man teaching in a school, it's time for the LGBT plus community with trans and non-binary people at the heart to join a union. in that union and then to lead that union. The equality structures are there, the intersectionality is there, and the political influence is there. The North, the Republic of Ireland, and the UK must be ready and organised for the rise of the far right across Europe. Feelings in capitalism have made fertile ground for the far right to recruit. will attack the most marginalised in society. So it is important for the LGBT plus community to take its place at the heart of the 800,000 workers in Ireland who are affiliated to the Irish Congress of Trade Unions and who will fight shoulder to shoulder against the injustices of LGBT poverty and homelessness, poor access to healthcare, hate crimes, bullying in schools and the treatment of LGBT plus asylum seekers from direct provision in here to Yarnswood Detention Centre in the UK. Today, you are all making history and the trans and non-binary community are taking back the streets and refusing to be erased from pride, which belongs to all of us and not Google or Facebook. Black Pride in Foxhall in London. It was free, community, group and trade union focused and political. It was political, so the performers and the artists, they all wore green for Grenfell in protest at the ongoing injustice and the treatment of the survivors of the Grenfell Tower Fire. Black Pride's aim is to foster, celebrate and present black LGBT culture and refuse to have it sidelined. Dublin Pride says loudly and clearly. No to being sidelined and no to being priced out of Dublin Pride. Pride is a protest and not a marketing tool. needs to reverse the commercialisation at its heart. The trade union movement stands in complete solidarity with you today. 
We have your facts. And as a report, Travis Alabanza spoke of the act of violence of silence, where people turn a blind eye to hate crimes or even abuse in the streets. We will not be silent. Not a place I have to hide in Life's not worth a damn Till you can say I am